Said I wasn't going to garden this year. Here I am out tilling the garden. Notice something else. What I see starting to come up. See right there. Right there. Right there. Asparagus. Nom, nom, nom. That actually sounds pretty good right now. Might have to go fix some. This garden's always a fun because it's on a hill. Can you see? Can you tell the angle of the hill? Ah, I need to buy some flat land somewhere. This is ridiculous. Crazy time of the year. Fixing chipper sh shredders. Building more beehives. Taking care of the current beehives. Building more beehives. Upgrading the chicken coop hardware cloth and putting the automatic door in that's solar powered. Moving the chickens out to the chicken coop. Getting the garden tilled. Getting all the berries and trees fertilized. Fixing the electric fence. Moving bees. To the rear of the yard. And did I mention moral mushroom hunting almost every single day? That's why my videos have been a little slower being uploaded. I've just been busy. <laughs> Planting rhubarb. Checking on bees. And trimming raspberries. One thing, it's another. The yard max tiller broke down. Tilled the garden, got the whole entire garden done. Bring the tiller in, not very far. Come up the ramps. Literally got right here and it stopped pulling. Wouldn't go forward, wouldn't go reverse. So I figured um, I would check the belt. Of course, check the belt. You got to take the tire off, which is just held in by a cotter pin. There's a whole bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four 10 millimeter bolts and a half inch 13 millimeter nut you got to take out. Then you got to take your front weights off, which is 18 millimeter. Uh, the bolt goes all the way through. You take one side out, they both fall out. Then once you got all that stuff off the wheel, the weights, then the cover pulls out and uh, the belt itself is good but what I found out was that even with this compressed all the way the belt still had slop in it so I, don't, I think I tilled a garden with this three times and uh, my adjustment screw is all the way all the way out so anyway so the way that you do that is you turn this nut right here that way, which tightens the cable up and takes the slop out of that down there. Uh, it wasn't a very hard fix. It probably took me, I don't know, 30 minutes to get this far where I've actually got it adjusted now. And I'm probably... Uh, so I, I thought maybe it could be something in the gears too, but so with this cover off, I can turn this. I can turn this flywheel and you can actually see the mower 
moving the tires are moving stuff like that so it was just the belt slipping you can kind of tell it's been slipping look at all the black on the inside there so anyways got, they got that fixed like i said it took about 30 minutes to get this much done probably take 15 20 minutes to put it back together and uh i guess it'll be good for the next couple of times anyways just wanted to update the status of this um i got one other thing too that's kind of been bugging me like the the when you're shifting like reverse time forward times are going forward reverse this is not very positive it feels like there's something loose in that gearbox so probably once i get the garden planted and i don't need this tiller as much i'm probably going to get into that gearbox and find out what's going on too so you know for a for a tiller i don't have a lot of hours on that's not good i kind of wish i'd bought a troy built now uh, maybe i'll get rid of this and buy a troy built who knows anyways thanks for watching i'll update this later i guess